Okay, on this one, we've got a discus thrower, and he's holding an outstretched arm, starting from rest. He begins to turn at a constant angular acceleration, releasing the discus, and he moves 1.8 meters. If a thrower takes 1.1 seconds, what will be the speed of the discus at release? So we've got a diameter, which is 1.8, so the radius will be half of that, or 0.9 meters. That's an important feature. And it takes one revolution. He throws one revolution. So I'm going to find, let's just, uh, so angular W1, they're starting at rest. That's the angular speed starts at zero before they accelerate. And essentially, we're trying to find W2. Um, and so if you think about that from a certain perspective, the equation I really want to do is W2 equals W1 plus alpha T. This is the equation uh, one of the equations of motion in angular kinematics. And so I'm trying to find W2. I know W1, that's zero. Alpha, I don't know, and time is 1.1. So I need to find the angular acceleration to solve this problem. So how do I find the angular acceleration? Well, I know that... How do I do that? Yeah. So what I know is I also have another equation, and that is the angle 2 equals angle 1 plus W1t plus alpha t squared. I know everything here except for um, the angular acceleration. So I'm going to use this, and then I'm going to plug it back into this equation. Because what I also know is that the person, if the thrower takes one to one revolution, right, so what's one revolution? One revolution, so he starts at zero, he finishes at two pi. Does that make sense? And then they're starting at zero, so this is zero t plus, oh, this is one half. One half times alpha times my time, which was 1.1 squared. I now have an equation and nothing but alpha unknown and I'll, now I can solve for alpha. And when I get alpha, I found alpha to be 10.4 radians per second squared. Now, with that, I can plug that into this equation. Let's put it over here. So I can say W2 equals 0 plus 10.4 times the time, which is 1.1. And so the angular speed... W2 is equal to 11.4 radians per second. Now, the question, though, is not that. So is, <laughs> what will be the speed of the discus at release? All right. So I need to convert radians per second into meters per second. So I'm going to take 11.4 radians per second. And I want to turn radians into medians. Now, since it's moving in a circle, the discus thrower, she's moving in a circle, I can say there are two pi radians in one revolution, because they release after one rotation, right? And then I can then say in one revolution, there's two pi and then r, right? The, the circumference of a circle is two pi r. And the radius of this, here's where the, that number comes in, this is 0 0.9 meters. Notice that the two pi's cancel, and I get 11.4 times 0 0.9, or I get 10.3 meters per second. So as the discus throw is spinning, she releases, and the discus will be traveling at 10.3 meters per second.